As of late, there have been so many discussions about whether or not putting fluoride in our public water supplies uh, is safe or not. Interestingly enough, there's a really, really important study that was recently published in JAMA Pediatrics, which is a peer-reviewed journal that outlines some of the effects of fluoridated water supplies on uh, pregnant mothers. So what the, uh, the study found was that uh, mothers who consumed fluoridated water throughout their pregnancies uh, had children, of course, the children were born, and by age ages three to four, um, their kids were actually found to have a lower IQ uh, than children born from mothers who did not consume fluoridated water during their pregnancies. You may not even notice in, in an individual if you know, their IQ is, is down three or four points, like the study suggests, but imagine if an entire population was affected by the fluoridated water supply, um, and the entire population was then uh, shifted down the curve where everybody had a lower IQ by three or, or four points. So that's really the, the big question here. It's not so much about you know, one individual having a lower IQ by a few points, it's that fluoridating a water supply uh, to an entire population can have very widespread effects to the whole group. So we're really, really happy that this discussion has opened up really, really wide and that there's lots of brilliant people out there doing amazing research on, on the topic. At the end of the day, I think, you know, everything we do here at Maxwell Dental is, is um, surrounding this idea of, of informed consent. We all have to know that what we're doing for our bodies is, is really the best thing that we can do. We need to have the information. So really, all we're doing here, we're just raising a little bit of awareness that maybe there are some alternatives out there. Maybe we don't need to have fluoride in our drinking water. You know, it's, it's so much easier to fix teeth if they start to break down than to uh, try and repair neurological damage.